Hello everyone, it's Stephen Clark and friends. Hope you're all fit and well. Back with a light-hearted look at news from Thailand and across Southeast Asia. So let's jump in and take a look at what we got this time. Death of a panda at the Chiang Mai Zoo. Chiang Rai Zoo celebrates World Rhino Day. Thailand's high-speed rail, salaries of over 100,000 Thai baht a month. EGAT, the five-star electrical motorbikes. Drug Kingpin, the boss, arrested on Khao Samui Island in Thailand. 450 kilograms of crystal meth discovered after driver crashes his truck. But first up, the Thomas Cook travel agent collapse. Hi there, uh, Mark Maverick reporting for Tukbuk Thailand. It was reported on Monday that the world's oldest travel agent, Thomas Cook, has actually gone into liquidation and actually, it's actually gone broke. UK Civil Aviation Authority, Thomas Cook, has now ceased trading and the regulator will work with the government to bring back more than 150,000 British customers. Due to the significant scale of the situation, some disruption is inevitable. The Civil Aviation Authority will endeavour to get home as close as many people as possible. Thomas Cook ceased trading and all flights are now cancelled. Some reports are saying that Norwegian Airlines have stepped in to actually bring the customers home. The firm runs hotels, resorts, airlines for 19 million people a year in 16 countries. And it's currently had about 600,000 people aboard facing governments and insurance companies to coordinate with huge rescue operations. As I said, it's been reported that actually Norwegian Airlines have stepped in to the breach, as they would say. It is a shame because it's been going since Victorian times, or just about Victorian Air Bordering times. Yeah, I think it's just to do people now booking holidays on the internet. And unfortunately, I did look at them last year and they were really, really expensive. And usually about a third more than the normal price. So, Sorry to hear that Thomas Cook is gone. Bye bye, Thomas. See you soon. Sadly, a Chinese panda has died at Chiang Mai's zoo in the north of Thailand. The Chinese are outraged and have sent representatives to help with the investigation or autopsy, if you like. Chinese activists and protesters have called for the rest of the pandas to be returned to China. Chang Chang, who arrived at the zoo in 2003 with female companion Lin Hoi, where the pair lived in a specially built enclosure, climatized to cooler climates. Chiang Mai Zoo director said before his death, Chang Chang was walking around doing what he loved to do, eat bamboo. While he was walking around, staggered and fell to the ground, dead. The male and the female panda at Chiang Mai Zoo were a source of regular public gossip with Chang Chang put on a low carb diet and then shown some panda pornography in an effort to spice up their sex life. Pandas apparently have a low sex drive. That's part of the reason why they're an endangered species. Well it's not all bad news at the zoos up in the north of Thailand. Carly, the only rhino at the Chiang Rai Zoo. It was given to the former king or the late king of Thailand by the king of Nepal. Celebrations were organised at the Chiang Mai Zoo on Sunday to celebrate Rhino Day worldwide with Kali, a 34-year-old female Indian black rhino from Nepal, the star of the show. And Kali was presented with a large tray of her favourite food. Kali, the female rhinoceros, was given to the Chiang Rai Zoo by the late King of Thailand on April the 22nd, 1986 when she was one year and two months old, weighing in at uh, 370 kilograms. Well, Carly's now 34 year old and weighs in about 2.5 ton and stands about two meters high. But she is the pride of the Chiang Rai Zoo. Thailand's high-speed train drivers, salaries of over 100,000 Thai baht a month, maybe. The drivers of Thailand's high-speed trains need to be very, very skilled. They will be in charge of millions of dollars worth of equipment, also hundreds of passengers. No different uh, captains of airlines in the airline industry. So a ministerial level committee suggested they get paid similar salaries to the airline pilots as they have the, virtually the same responsibility. Controlling one of these high-speed trains would come with a similar responsibility as airline pilots face. Driving these trains would come with a lot of stress and responsibility as airline pilots face every time they fly. 
to attract the correct type of high-speed train driver, salaries of over 100,000 baht a month are being considered. And this is similar to what China pays. They pay 150,000 Thai baht a month. The idea came after transport ministry officials and the rail representatives discussed the new standards that will be required in Thailand once the fast trains are active. Thailand at the moment has two planned high-speed routes from the Dong Myung Airport to Sawinapum Airport, both in Bangkok, then down to Utopo Airport near Rayong. These are the three international airports targeted for high-speed trains. At the present time, there are 2,000 Thai train drivers in Thailand, with around 800 in the city network and around 1,200 intercity routes. Intercity drivers are currently paid between 50 to 80,000 Thai baht a month. No. Well, g'day sports fans, the um, pomp and ceremony is certainly rolling out for the introduction of five star labelling for electric motorcycles. The Electricity Generating Authority of Thailand is going to be issuing the five star energy rating labels for electric motorcycles in Thailand. So that's a big move ahead. Um, there's a Zero SR, is a, is a fantastic motorbike on the road or the track. The Honda CR replacing the traditional four-stroke CRs. The Tesla Fugly. Um, yeah, it's a beauty. And the uh, KTM Freerider, free like this one. They're great bikes. motorcycles have certainly come of age and um, here we can see a uh, electric bike it's a zero SR taking on a Ford uh, V8 Mustang a 5 litre V8 Mustang down the drag strip no worries it's got it and zero SR came in 13.0 and the uh, Mustang 5 litre 13.9 over the quarter mile Electric wins again. <laughs> so the electric Woo! motorcycles are sure to be a big winner with the EGAT Energy 5 star rating label. Thunder has always been a very popular bike in Thailand and uh, goes way, way back. Had exclusive manufacturing rights and dealerships, and Honda's rolling out their uh, electric bikes. They've had a um, hybrid bike, this one here, the PCX Hybrid, has been available for a while. I went to buy one, but it's um, got a one month waiting list, it has to be imported from Japan. Honda says Thailand is not ready for electric motorcycles. They don't have recycling facilities for the lithium ion batteries that are required. So we're going to be hanging around with all this noise of the traditional scooters with no exhaust pipes, and I think. Um, Thailand wants to get used to it and it will be a long time before we see the end of these little buggers on the road. Ah, Koh Samui, Thailand. A lovely island. I've been there many times. Beautiful spot, lovely scenery. It's picture paradise, really. Just need to get rid of a few cockroaches. Drug Kingpin, the boss, arrested in Koh Samui Island, Thailand. Drug dealer the boss had an extensive network in Koh Samui, apparently, and had previously spent nine years in prison. Released from prison, built himself an empire in Koh Samui in the drug trade. The man's name, 63-year-old Sompong Rangsari, who is also known within crime and drug dealing circles on the island as the boss. Now, he may have been shielded or assisted by state officials, the police chief of Suratani province warned. He also warned that there would be severe consequences for anyone found to be part of the narcotics empire network run by the drug baron. His concern is that the drug kingpin, a 
arrested in Koh Samui on Friday may have had connections in high places and locally. This would include support from officials. Ten bank accounts and other assets from the criminal suspect, including cars and watches, were also seized during the drug bust and his arrest. But the police chief made it very clear that any officials found linked or helping this man would be facing very, very serious consequences. Mr. Sompong had operated a van retail business in the island. It is believed authorities are still investigating this business and more seizures may follow. 450 kilograms of crystal meth discovered after driver crashes his truck. Police have seized a shipment of drugs after the truck hit a traffic island. Lost control and spilled its goodies all over the road. Yes, the drug ice was spewed out across the road. The impact of the crash caused 26 packages containing crystal meth to spill all over the road. Some of the bags broke open and revealed the crystal meth itself. Patchenbury police said the driver, Adidan Lia, 45, and his 18-year-old son were arrested after the drugs were found. They suffered slight injuries. The police checked the vehicle thoroughly and found another 15 packs of drugs in the back with animal feed as well. In the past year, the Thailand police have seized 80 tonnes. Seizure of crystal meth has exceeded 18 tonnes. Most of the drug busts have come from northern Thailand. One has to wonder which corporation has the finances to fund such an operation. Funding for this sort of thing does not come from little villages and mums and dads. Let's just hope the Thai police can keep it under control and off the streets of Thailand.